Hey everybody, today is going to be a bit confusing. Circle of confusing. Hey David, my photography teacher used a term I'd never heard before. She said, circle of confusion about something. I don't know what that is. What is a circle of confusion? Okay, so the simplest explanation of a circle of confusion is that it's a point of light which is not properly focused on the imaging plane. And so what happens is when you take a picture, the lens focuses everything from, from in front of it to infinity somewhere on a horizontal plane. So if your, your image plane is here and your lens is here and you move your lens in and out, that changes what's in focus on the imaging plane not because the lens is changing focus, but because you're pulling different parts of what the lens is focusing into and away from the focal plane, the, the focal point, the imaging media. So if you're focused up close and your lens is focused up close, what is at infinity is still in focus. It's just in focus way in front of your image media. So it focuses here and then it continues and goes out of focus. That's the lens physics reason why you get blurry out of focus backgrounds. So the circle of confusion is the size of the circle that appears to be in focus. And this changes with image format, okay? Also changes with a little bit with uh, lens, focal length, because short, narrower lenses have a deeper depth of field just because of lens physics. So let's say you're shooting 35 millimeter film. Lenses are designed to have a circle of confusion that is around three one hundredths of a millimeter. The actual number ranges from 0 0.025 to 0 0.029 millimeters, but for easy number math, we're gonna go, go with 0 0.03, three one hundredths of a millimeter as the point size of a focused point of light on film. For APS-C cameras, for instance, uh, that's a smaller number. It's 0 0.02 millimeters. The actual number is 0 0.015 to 0 0.018. But again, we're gonna round, just to make it a little bit easier, the APS-C circle of confusion size for something to look sharp when it's enlarged to a normal viewing size is two one hundredths of a millimeter. So we're talking about really, really small sizes here. The smaller the format, the smaller the circle of confusion has to be for the image to look sharp when it's presented at a normal viewing size for that format. So let's say that you've got your, your image plane here and your lens here and it's focusing what is three feet in the distance on the image plane at a proper circle of confusion size. Well, what's at infinity is a proper circle of confusion size way up here. And so that keeps getting larger and more out of focus. So a circle of confusion is the, the point at which something is in focus. The, when it gets too large, it is out of focus. That's all that means. It's a it's, circle of confusion is the point source that contributes to what we call, what people incorrectly call, bokeh, what is actually termed the out of focus area. Bokeh is the characteristic shape given to circles of confusion by the aperture as they pass through them and the characteristic shape of each out of focus point on the image plane. But it's a little bit off topic for this video. So circle of confusion is whether is, is the point is the size of the circle of a point of light that is considered in focus for a given image medium.
Uh, hopefully this gets added to the circle of confusion video. So one of the reasons that, so if you've ever looked at a, a negative, it always looks sharp. No matter what, the negative looks sharp, and that's because the image is so small, it's not been enlarged. The circle of confusion size on a negative is infinitesimally, infinitesimally small, so things that are out of focus will appear to be in focus. Uh, larger formats, like 4x5 and 8x10, can conversely uh, tolerate larger circles of confusion and still appear to be sharp. I don't know what the circle of confusion size is for large format, but um, since APS-C to 35 millimeter has, um, well, I don't, so I don't know what the circle of confusion size is for medium format, large, or, or ultra large format, but it is larger than it is for 35 millimeter. And also acceptable circle of confusion size varies by print size. So the size at which you're going to present the image also has an influence on the size of the acceptable circle of confusion for something to be sharp when it's presented, whether it's printed or projected on a screen. So if you have an area that's out of focus on a very large print, if you reduce the print somewhat, it could look like it's more in focus and kind of hide slight focus mistakes. They have to be very, very slight. Um, and this also means that if you're just sharing photos on social media, say on, somebody's looking at it on their smartphone or on their computer screen, that that's not a very big enlargement so there's a lot of missed focus tolerance when you're sharing in that medium. So pro tip, if you want people to think that all of your photos are perfectly in focus all the time, only let them look at your photos on their phone screen because everything's always gonna look perfectly sharp.